Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a tender knob. And yes, the name of the cocktail is a tender knob. And that leaves me a whole bunch of bad things that I could say, like, how would you like to lift a tender knob? And so on. You know what? Leave your variations of that saying down below in the comments, because I think everybody wants a really good chuckle. Anyways. Getting back to the cocktail itself, it was actually created by H. Joseph Ehrman. Now he is the owner of Elixir, which is the oldest continuing running saloon in the San Francisco area. And he built this with fall in mind. So everything he's got here for flavors screams fall. So let's talk about those. The first thing we need are some apples and nothing screams fall like some apples fresh off the tree. You also need a little bit of cinnamon, a staple for bacon and cocktails all over the place. The unique ingredient to this is an agave syrup. Now you could use agave nectar, depending on what you can get. And you need bourbon. Now I'm using Four Roses single barrel bourbon. It is a 100 proof or 50% ABV cocktail. And that's gonna give us a little bit more of that ethanol spicy bite. And finally, we're going to use a little bit of apple cider. Now. And this is important because in North America, a lot of people look at apple cider as a apple juice that's spiced. And in Europe, you'll look at something that's alcoholic. So this is a hard apple cider. So this is a shaken cocktail. But before you actually grab your knife, you want to grab your glass. You want to grab your knife, right? And what we will do is we will cut the apple in half and then cut a one eighth of an inch slice, throw that in the glass and muddle it. All right, make sure that is good and muddled. Now, the next thing you want to add is a little bit of powdered cinnamon, and you just need to throw a pinch in. Now that you've added your cinnamon, what we'll do is we will add our agave syrup. And interestingly enough, we're actually going to use a total of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. The next step in this cocktail is to use your bourbon of choice. Now, as I said, I'm using Four Roses. You can choose to use whatever you want. Uh, just keep in mind the original recipe called for Knob Creek, you know, going with the name, but I wanted something just with a little bit more punch. We're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. The next step in the process is a little bit of hard cider. Now I'm using summer to be, choose whatever you want, but what you want to do is see if the cider you're using is carbonated or not, because if it is carbonated, you're going to want to stir this down so that you get rid of all the carbonation before you, uh, you actually stir this. And we're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now this cider, is carbonated so you just want to make sure that you just give it a bit of a stir and the reason for that is when we go to shake this you don't want it to actually blow apart from the carbonation because we do have to shake all of these ingredients together. so make sure you fill your glass up with a little bit of ice grab the lid make sure it's on there good give it a pinch and shake it with a smile yeah Pop that off with the strength of a thousand apples. That sounded stupid. Jump cut. Yeah. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand apples. So what we'll do next is we will grab a rocks glass. Put it in whatever you want, but a rocks glass is going to work perfect for this. And now what we'll do is we will fill this up with ice because a little bit of fresh ice is always a good thing. Now, if you wanted this sort of smash style, you could free pour this if you wanted. However, we're going to fine strain this just to keep any of the apple chunks directly out of the glass. And look at the color of this. Absolutely fantastic. It screams fall. Put half an apple slice on top, then sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon to finish it off. And here you have a tender knob. Absolutely fantastic to look at. Smells good. Oh, and that tastes so good. It's like fall in a glass. 
If you like bourbon cocktails, I have one right here for you called a bourbon bird.